On May 31st, Catholics celebrate the Feast of the Visitation, when Mary left her home in Nazareth to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was also with child. The only account of the event is found in St. Luke's Gospel. Elizabeth, inspired by the Holy Spirit, says to Mary, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how has it happened to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Mary's reply was a beautiful hymn known today as the Magnificat. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Mary was faithful to God and reached out in service to her older cousin, who in turn welcomed her into her home with open arms. The visitation is a great reminder of the fact that life starts at conception. The unborn John the Baptist leapt for joy in his mother's womb upon Mary's arrival, recognizing the presence of the unborn Messiah. Christians have honored the Feast of the Visitation for centuries. Originally celebrated on July 2nd, Pope Paul VI moved the feast day to May 31st in order to be more compatible with the Gospel story. The feast now falls between the Annunciation of Mary, celebrated March 25th, and the Nativity of John the Baptist, celebrated June 24th.